Hello. The COVID-19 crisis we're experiencing right now brought many or foreseen crises in our world. And one of them is the, the pollution levels are down. There's an estimation that the carbon emission will drop by 5% globally. And as I'm recording this on Earth Day, on the 50th Earth Day, I cannot say this is a cause for celebration. Because right now people are dying all around the world. And we should not have to choose between humankind and protecting our environment. We should not need a crisis to solve another crisis. No, what we need is long-term solution. And this is maybe the problem when it comes to climate change crisis. It's the words long-term. You see, for example, um, the result of today's inaction regarding COVID-19 can be seen between two or three days later. When it comes to climate changes, inaction are perceived only 10 to 20 years in the future. It's more difficult to mobilize people and keep them mobilized when we're talking with this kind of talking in terms of years. Some people are currently calling for the end of the confinement only six weeks after the beginning of our collective effort of confinement. Still, I believe there's, in all of this, we can find some hope. Um, yes, Yes, understand, life is upside down, and it will be probably this way for months, maybe years of disturbance from one another. Uh, yes, a lot of people have lost their job, they've lost a lot of money, their way of life currently. But the hope for me lies in... The fact that this crisis show us we can change. Two months ago, only two months ago, I will tell you that we would worship and have communion electronically. Would you believe me? Maybe you said, yeah, we could, but that would be the new normal. Would you believe me? We did it not because we wanted to be modern or trendy, because we had to adapt. We had to do it. Well, I believe we can do the same with climate changes. Because the answer is not to do less, but to do differently. When we look at our government and our big corporation, the opportunity is there to, inv to invest in old and new technology and business sector and once again we can do more in a positive way and sometimes it's it's simple it's uh, creating, creating jobs that already exist we can retrofit our home that we can use less energy and by the way saving money but less energy often is less pollution we can uh, advocate for the electrification of transport. We can have more uh, uh, gas-efficient uh, vehicle of our own. And we can also work for energy that comes from the sun, from the wind. The technology is there. We can use them. And the goal, once again, is not to bring us back to the past, but to move us in the future, to move us forward. There's new opportunities to develop new business sector, new jobs 
that could be interesting to a lot of people. As we emerge from this crisis, like I said, the solution is not to do less. It will be to do things differently. And we can all do it. We just need, as we are right now, keep our eyes on the ultimate goal. To say, this is why we're doing this and not giving up. And I hope that you're not giving up right now. It's difficult. It's long. It might be painful for some of you. But ultimately, we're doing the right thing. Let us continue to do this. And happy Earth Day. Take care and bye-bye.